Now well, this is uh, planting radishes for nitrogen fixers into the soil. This man here, he built all this soil in his pathway soil bank. He made the mounds on bare rock and now he's putting in his nitrogen fixation plants for yes. nitrogen fixers. Here, folks, we have nitrogen fixation. Yeah, nit nitrogen fixers in into it. And you just put the rake in, like see, him, see what he's doing there? You just put that rake in and then you're making all the holes so you can drop the radishes in. Makes it real nice and easy. So he'll, he'll do that and then he'll just put in a few of the radish seeds. Now these are organic, non-GMO. If you want to use GMO, that's, that's your choice. I mean, I wouldn't, but these are by, you know, they're you organic. And that's what you're looking for. Hope I don't get in any trouble for saying that. You can get in trouble for everything nowadays. You know, so we're gonna do this all the way up the hill. It goes all the way up there. And then we're gonna take these coffee grounds. And we're gonna be putting them around. Look at that big bag down there. And this is his pathway soil bank here. And it's important that he did his pathway soil bank. And then he moved it up onto the bare rock up here. So he made his pathway soil bank for a whole year of collecting kitchen waste, leaves, coffee grounds, bark mulch, wood chips, and you know, just anything that could be used as biomass. And uh, so he made these tiers when he when here, this terraced here. So this is a veggie patch in there and a veggie patch in here. And he kept the Gary Oak ecosystem intact. It's all intact with with the camas bulbs and I see I, I see this morning there was a Clipso lady slipper up here I'm gonna go get some video of that but he kept the maple tree here you know it's it's all there and he kept the wild cherry there so this is the part where he's putting in the tree crops because this was available on well you can see it's all it was all bare rock here so when they put stones well, after they made the mound, they put stones in here. And each year, or two or three times a year, he, when he makes his pathway soil bank, eventually that's going to be covered and with more, more, more rocks put on the side here, you know, and more, more of this, this biomass from the pathway soil bank. And uh, he's, uh, he's moving ahead there. There we go. Yeah. This was just put in just uh, what two or three months ago. We put this these trees in yeah, six, weeks. six weeks ago, and it's already taken. And I took these out of a these were um, bare rootstock out of my nursery. So you can see where he's put all the nitrogen fixers in the ground here, and the, the radishes. And he's going to be putting beans on here too, and the beans will drape down the side, but but also there's gonna be cucumber and watermelon here. And here's a grape. And this grape will grow in the trees. You see this grape? It'll grow into the, 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 the prune here, which is pretty big. So this is Howie Jones, and this is how we do it. All the best.